You could say I've always wanted to do this. Even when I was young, I had a feeling I would do something like this. It's actually happened. Everyone is happy, except I don't think the government would be. Do you think I'm going to let some jumped up, old fashioned, bigoted and dangerously detrimental government like this one dictate our future? What fucking right do they have to tell us what's best for the children? When the very children this government confessed to care so much about is some of the ones born into the world by young adolescents growing up without any love at all and have bestowed a life of poverty, government funded earnings from their parents. But that's all normal, according to the Queensland government though. Because they're not freaks. check on Johan. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah, so speaking of being okay with it, where is Johan? Oh, he's a little bit embarrassed about it all, actually. He's waiting in the wings, so to speak. <laughs> Good. Oh, no, we're not doing it now, are we? Uh, no, I just thought I would leave Anna alone for a few seconds just to gather her thoughts together. She's opening her legs. What's there to think about? Oh, yeah, don't be so facetious. She's the one going through nine months of hell for this. I need some more wine. Give me some wine, please. Yeah, sure, okay. Then. Look, there's the plastic cup. It didn't really start out too well to tell you the truth. There was me thinking she was going to bring a menstrual instead soft cup to the party, which we had discussed for many months. It's a bit of a mouthful I know, but apparently it's the most secure way of capturing the semen inside her vagina once it reaches her cervix. Don't sell them in Australia though. So now we're going primitive. Hardly primitive, but it wasn't the original method point taken. We're going for the good old fashioned turkey baster, syringe, Without the needle, of course. able to get an erection the conventional way, surely? No, Johan, I wouldn't have been able to, no. 
I know Anna and I are good friends, but that doesn't mean I do lady parts and she hasn't suddenly developed a penchant for penises. No. Look, stop panicking, will you, okay? I'm the one that has to jizz into a cup, not you. Oh, shit. Yeah, and she's waiting, okay? Come on. I feel violated. It's like my mother's sitting out there waiting for us to have sex or something. Uh, okay. I'm going to put some music on now, okay? And we'll drown out any disturbances outside, okay? Would that be all right? Johan, come on. You're the perpetrator, I'm the victim. It should be me freaking out, not you. <sighs> there really was nothing to it. People do it artificially all the time, don't they? Except it's okay when it's a man and a woman, as God intended. Well, the fact is, I'm not so sure that God would care that much in today's modern climate. And what if you're atheist? Not that I am, I'm agnostic, and that's not because it's comfortable sat on the fence. Who cares what people do behind closed doors in their own bedrooms? Who cares? The government, that's who. Bunch of fucking antiquated, anachronistic, outmoded fuckwits. later, okay? We don't have time. See you in a minute. Okay. So it was a little bit awkward at the start, but we got there in the end. Please spare me the details. Oh. Alright, so this is it. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Have you got the syringe? Uh, I've got it. Ooh. Are you ready for insemination? Uh -huh. Very funny. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it was all worth it. Our beautiful baby girl is so gorgeous. I know that's what every mother says when they give birth, and personally, I think most babies are bloody ugly, but this one. She's to die for. My mum was so proud. She truly believed she would never see the day where a grandchild would be produced. <laughs> never from a son who usually takes it up the other. Okay, stop pacing, you're making me feel sick. Mm, you feel sick. <sighs> Alright. 
Oh my god. Our baby's gonna be conceived during <laughs> the countdown. Oh my god. god. Just extract it, please. Okay, we have to do this quickly. Oh. If you can't do it, get yeah. your hand and do it. Okay, I don't feel too good. Okay, just do it. You're gonna have to pull my undies down, okay? Because I have to stay with like this for as long as possible. Okay, okay, okay. Will you stop speaking like a fucking doctor, okay? Oh. It's also bloody sterile. Just wear the sperm down! Okay, okay, alright. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Be a whole new opening. I don't know what all this fuss is about. Aren't we living in a democracy? We're living in the 21st century and this state loves not to move. It's scared of diversifying. The government is scared. It's what the people want apparently. I'm not so sure about that. Angelica we call her. And not because she's our angel, but basically because Angelic Houston is our favourite actress. I couldn't thank her enough for this opportunity. At 41, it was my last chance, with someone I could trust. Trust being the operative word, as believe it or not, gay surrogacy will more than likely become illegal in this state very soon. Gay adoption is already. Funny that, just when we thought we were advancing in the first world. Anyway, the silver lining for us is that we know each other, so this wasn't transactional, therefore not illegal. One little fabrication though, Angelica will have to be registered under Anna's care until a day comes when the government kicks out the old and brings in the new, and she may be registered under her two father's care. I get to be the cool, understanding mother who has her over for weekends and never judges or disciplines too much. Suits me for playing. I knew I would do this for my best friend one day. I would do pretty much anything for him. Including lying to an archaic, hypocritical government hell-bent on perpetuating prejudice and inequality. Do I feel bad? Nah. I pay my taxes. So screw you.